Good evening, Saints. This is Abby. This is Bella, blessed and highly favored. I hope you guys are having a God feel Saturday. So while I'm watching this Kim Kardashian and Kanye West divorce fiasco happening in the media, and of course they're dating different people, I have a question for you guys. As Christians, as followers of Christ, do you think it's okay to date other people, pursue relationships with other people while you're still legally married? And before I answer this question to you guys, I want you to know, I've actually had Christians defend the right, the right to date other people while they're still married to their spouse, legally. And the answer is, well, technically back in those biblical days, we didn't really have these official courts systems and these official documentations. It was already decided if you were gonna get divorced, you were divorced. As long as you were not being intimate with your spouse and you had already said it and there was an understanding, so you're divorced. I'm sorry, that's not true. It is not true. You're still committing the sin of adultery, people, while you're still legally married to your spouse. And mind I please urge you to look up Romans 13, one through two, any version of the Bible you like. It is very clear. God does want you to submit to authority and the laws of the land as long as they're not in direct opposition to his commands, right? We still have to follow the law of the land. As far as I'm concerned, in the United States of America, until you have official documentation stating that your marriage has been officially dissolved, you're still legally married to your spouse, even if you have filed for divorce and you're legally separated. And in God's eyes, you're still in a covenantal marriage until it's officially resolved. And another reason why it's not a good idea to pursue relationships with other people while you're still waiting for the marriage to be officially dissolved is because a lot of times, the bickering spouses who are pursuing divorce do end up back together, reconciling. And now you just committed sin of adultery that didn't need to happen and you involved other people in your mess. So. I think it's a better idea to first close the chapter officially on the marriage that you do have, the covenant that you do have, before you start bringing other people into your life. Because otherwise you're just causing sin, damage, pain, hurt, suffering, and that's not good. That's not godly at all. Have a very blessed day. Bye y'all.